Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Inside Sports and STL TV, the COVID-19 2020 crisis. And joining me today is the president of the St. Louis Sports Commission, Frank Viverito. Frank, how are you today? Well, uh, I think the answer to that is okay, because I'm sure that anybody could be too much more than okay, considering what's going on uh, in St. Louis and the world. This might be one of the craziest times I can ever remember in the world. Uh, I remember six years ago, the Michael Brown situation is going down. Now we've got the COVID-19 crisis. We have protesting, we have writers, and we have sports trying to start up again. You know, right. what's your take on how this all unfolded? Because, you know, we were having a, a brilliant time here in St. Louis with the St. Louis Blues, the Winter Classic the cup, the all-star game. We've got Mardi Gras going on, Mayor's Ball, Cardinal season coming up. And of course, the Missouri Valley Tournament was very important this year. And that was pretty much the last sporting goods we've seen sporting uh, events in a long time. Yeah, I, I, I think the answer to the question is it's complicated. You know, I, I think everybody wants to see sports back. You know, wh whether, whether that's at you know, at the major league level or, or whether that's your kid's sport, your kid's softball team. Everybody wants sports back, but it's hard to figure it out. Uh, it's hard to figure it out financially. It's hard to figure it out logistically. It's hard to figure it out medically because everybody wants to be safe. Um, everybody wants to, to be whole financially. Um, you know, and, and, and it's just really, really hard to, to put all those pieces together. So I can tell you that everybody's trying, you know, whether it's CYC or MLB, everybody's trying. It was pretty devastating because I was talking to members of the Missouri Valley Tournament and, you know, they thought pretty much that the NCAA was going to go on. I remember seeing the video of the NBA player uh, jokingly, uh, you know, like breathing on and rubbing on the microphones. And then he tested positive for COVID-19. And all of a sudden, shocking changes occurred right then. The NCAA term was canceled. And it was devastating for St. Louis, the Sports Commission, and the region. Yes, we had that, that tournament, you know, uh, uh, up and ready to go, the first and second rounds. G great event for St. Louis, great crowd, great enthusiasm. So many postseason uh, events here working closely with the Valley, you know, at, at the Valley tournament, we, we had, you know, hand sanitizer at, at the concession stands in the restrooms, you know, and, and people weren't shaking hands and, and we thought that was okay. You know, and then the world changed literally two or three days later. And, and so, you know, like I say, it's, it's complicated, but you know, we're working hard now to, uh, to rebook the Olympic gymnastics trials, which were booked, uh, for, you know, we're going to take place in June at Enterprise Center, but, you know, they're connected to the Olympic Games, and we hope those games will go, uh, you know, next year in Tokyo, and, and dates change, and, and it's just, you know, complexity on top of complexity, um, but, you know, we're in the middle of bidding for multiple events right now, and, and we have to have, you know, faith that, 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 our issues will be addressed and solved and, and we'll be able to move forward. It, it may not be, um, you know, the new normal, it may be the new abnormal, but, but again, we're, we're working hard to try to, to, to bring back sports. I guess the, in a perfect world, we could push back the Olympic trials and still keep them in St. Louis because you guys worked very hard to bring the Olympic trials and the NCAA here, the NCAA, you can't really replace that because they've named, the cities for next year but there's still a good chance the olympic trials could come here huh? sure and uh you know as i say we're working hard every day to rebook them at enterprise center um the nhl schedule for next year is still a little bit in flux so you know you, you need to wait until all the pieces fit together to be able to uh uh to 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 confirm that that the event can come back and on what dates and, and it also has other championships connected to it and a national uh, a trade show and Congress connected to it. We're also in the middle of a bid cycle for uh, more than 500 NCAA championships over the period of 2022 through 2026. And so we can't get basketball back next year, but we already have NCAA wrestling booked for next March. of, of Great. 
and and we're now bidding for basketball you know b between 22 and and 26 and hopefully we'll get you know consideration as a host that wasn't able to, to be able to host and and we can you know reschedule uh you know in, in the next few years if not next year you know it's it's incredible to think about the st louis battle hawks what they were doing down at the the uh the dome in america center you know they were the I guess they had the most uh, attendance of any of the other sure. teams. Then all of a sudden they get shut down. The league folds. You're going into the hockey playoffs, you know, in just a couple of weeks, opening day right around the, uh, right around the bend. And I, I think St. Louis really took a bigger hit than many other cities. Well, I, th I think it takes a big hit because sports are very important here. You know that 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 we love sports. We are great sports fans. We've been in a period of, of sports success. You know, it 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 is uh, uh, it's who we are, and and so I agree completely that we took a uh, you know a very significant hit uh, th through all of this. And uh, you know, you, you always feel bad for the fans and, and for the athletes. You know, the kids who didn't have a chance to compete and and it's not just the athletes it's the kids who didn't get a chance to graduate or you know enjoy their last semester in in school at all levels of education so you know we're not complaining because everybody's in the same boat you know every city every sport um you know we're just trying to all pull together and and uh, uh get back as soon as we can with the restriction on travel and people not traveling as much, do you find yourself as president of the St. Louis Sports Commission meeting with the other presidents and the committees around the country more on uh, vices like this on Zoom interviews rather than flying around and, and doing the uh, the day-to-day -day personal uh, interventions? Sure. Yeah, I, I haven't been on a plane in quite some time and I don't see myself getting on one in the very near future. But, you know, I can tell you that, that I, I do have uh, two meetings a week w with, you know, anywhere from 10 to 25 of, of my colleagues and counterparts from across the country. And, and we're comparing notes at, at every level, you know, from, from when to, to, you know, come back to the office to, to, you know, what the, the bid landscape is going to look like in the next, uh, you know, s six months to, to six years to you know, what ways can we work together to uh, generate additional revenue? What events can we put on that are meaningful to our communities? I mean, we are working, you know, in in, in lockstep, you know, basically with our competitors. There's there's no events out there right now, and and so we're all trying to solve um, problems and address the, these important issues together. Uh, Major League Soccer, you know, the stadium is being built right now. How's that situation going? Is this slowing down the process at all? Or is it kind of unaffected because the building and the team may not uh, play for a year or so? Well, I think the answer is yes and yes. Um, you know, the, the, uh, the, 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 the stadium, the, the process uh, of putting together the organization is on track for for March of 22, but but I know they have not been able to move forward with, you know, naming the team, naming the stadium, the you know the the crest, the uniform, you know that that they would like to have that that marketing machine um, moving a lot faster. But you know, once again, you know, uh, God bless our our Taylor family for 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 you know being so committed to St. Louis in so many ways. MLS being just one of them and the same thing, you know, for the DeWitts and, and, and for Tom Stillman and his group over at the blues is that they're, they're, they're trying, they're investing, um, you know, and, and, and they, they want to be back and, and on track just like we do. Got about a minute left, Frank. What are your thoughts on moving forward with professional and collegiate sports? Because when you're playing sports, you're bumping into each other, you're high-fiving, you're sweating. Uh, I assume there's going to be a lot of testing. But uh, what are your thoughts of the, you know, the Cardinals, the Blues moving forward, and, uh, and sports in the future? How will it be attended? Well, it has to be figured out before we move forward. Like, we can't take chances. I think that's that, – that's, pretty uh you know pr pretty much common sense and and so 
thankfully, everybody's trying to figure out the scientific and the medical part of it, whether it's fewer fans or, or no fans or, or masks or, or vaccines or less travel or realignment. Uh, everything's on the table and, and that's good because it has to be thoughtful in order for it to be successful. And the usual awards, uh, you guys control that. I'm sure that you've already thought about that. You know, it's not till later in this year, so hopefully that'll uh, will come off and you guys will figure out a way to make it work for everyone. Whether it's virtual or in person, uh, live and, and TV, uh, the Musical Awards are going to go forward and the Sports Commission will always stand for sportsmanship and civility and respect and kindness. And, and we want that to be baked into St. Louis and, and uh, um, we're going to keep moving forward at, at every level. Thank you so much, Frank, for joining us here in the special edition of Inside Sports. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Todd. All right, that's Frank Viverino on a special edition of Inside Sports. Check out Inside Sports, because on the inside, it's a whole different story. And keep it right here on STL TV, Experience St. Louis.